Hi guys, it's me again. In this video, I wanted to talk about where we stayed in Shargao. I wanted to cover a few topics. Number one, um, how we found the room and where we booked the room. Uh, number two, what we liked about the place. Number three, important things you need to know about um, the place. And number four, what I recommend you bring or buy when you get there. So number one, uh, we booked through Agoda. Agoda? Not sure how you say it, but I will provide a link in the description below. Uh, we did not know about Buddha Resort. We stayed in Buddha Resort. We did not know about Buddha Resort until we saw it pop up when we were looking for uh, places to stay on the website. So um, it happened to be at a time where they were offering discounts, I believe. So we saw it, looked at the picture, read some reviews, liked what we saw and read, and um, we went ahead and booked a room. We booked a suite with a balcony. Number two, what we liked about the place. Um, we liked uh, that the f staff were very friendly, management also were very friendly. Um, we liked the design. My sister and I are into um, the native natural kind of feel um, coupled with uh, the more um, in you know clean aesthetic minimal and clean so we like that uh, number two oh sorry three would be um we liked that they um were able to help us book surf lessons so um how it works there is if you're interested in a surf lesson you could just go ask the front desk and then they'll be able to find you surf instructors um, they also run out boards and scooters, I believe. We also like the proximity of the place to restaurants. So in both sides, both sides, literally two minutes walk on both sides, you'll get to a restaurant. So love that. We also love the proximity of the place to the beach. Um, maybe like about a four or five minute walk across the street, um, you'll get to the beach. We also loved their resort mascot, this gentle giant. They have a guard dog named as Reef. A um, couple nights, you know, he would sleep inside the balcony by our door, so we thought that was really cool. Um, overall, will we stay there again? Yes, definitely. We will definitely be staying there again when we do visit Shergao in the future. And then the next topic would be. Oh, important things you need to know. So Shergo was hit with a typhoon that devastated the island back in December of 2021. When we got there, they were far along with the recovery process, but um, uh, Buddha Resort uh, sustained quite extensive damages to the restaurant. Um, I heard before they used to, or I even read on their website, they had yoga there. They would have um, bands at night at some times. And I also read that the restaurant was really good. Um, unfortunately, when we got there, those weren't um, being offered because the area uh, was damaged by the typhoon. So um, now, I think, last time I checked their website, they are currently undergoing construction. Actually, I believe they started construction when we uh, were there. I think a few days before we left, they began um, constructing the front desk area. That's a very important thing to, to remember when you're looking at the website or the pictures or the reviews. Um, just remember that um, some things are under construction at Buddha Resort. And then for the last topic that I wanted to talk about, what are some things that I recommend you guys bringing? Uh, toiletries including toothpaste and toothbrush, um, bring those. They do provide shampoo, conditioner, and soap, body soap, body wash, body soap. So that's good. Um, and then as soon as you can, I recommend you looking for a place where you can buy a gallon of water. Small mom and pop stores, um, for some reason, it's kind of hard to find a, a big bottle of water, drinking water. We found water at a uh, bigger 
kind of grocery store over there. And when I say bigger, I mean in terms of in, in the uh, Philippine standard. Um, by the way, this whole, my opinion, my views, my words, my perspective is coming from uh, someone who does not who does not live in the Philippines. So I, we, I reside in Guam and my sister resides in Alaska. We went on a vacation uh, together for the first time in 20 years and went to Shurigao. So this whole perspective is coming from that POV. Um, hmm. I think that's about it. Overall, again, I know I said this earlier, but yeah, we will definitely stay at Buddha Resort. Um, in the future when we visit Shirgo again. So now I will give you the clips. I'm not gonna put in uh, too much music so that you could hear how it is over there. You could kind of get a feel of the ambiance of the place and the vibe of the place. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Hi guys, we made it to Shergao. It's so cute. I can't wait to show you how our place looks. It's super cute. Hold on. We got a suite. We are at Buddha Resort. Steps. Some flowers here. This is the little patio table seats. Entrance. Then the room. Um, we have, I don't know if these come standard with the rooms or if these are just for the suite, but there's two extra twin beds in the room and a king size bed, I believe. Look at the outside, guys. It's so stinking cute. This is mirror. There's my sister. Closet area. Little vanity, some cups, and a um, thing for hot water. This is the bathroom. So, that's how it looks. Shower. Here's the outside. Toilet. It's super cute. I don't know if the video is doing it justice, but it's, it's super cute, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is the room. TV, table, extra bed, entrance. Hold on. 